Monaco were looking to make it four consecutive wins against Paris Saint-Germain, Friday's match day opener. While the league leaders hope to bounce back after struggling to a draw at home against Rennes last week. The visitors lining up with something of a makeshift defence with Marquinhos and Danilo Pereira out injured. Kylian Mbappe picking up the armband again in the Brazilian's absence. Monaco meanwhile had the chance to go up to second place going into the weekend. The host very much back in the Champions League race after wins on the road against Nice and Lens. Luis Enrique's men with one eye on the European tie in midweek. And it was Monaco who nearly drew first blood. Magne Sakluch winning the ball in midfield before Ben Yedda played it to Balogun. The American looking to sneak it in from an angle but Donnarumma could parry it away. And there was another chance for the host early on. Akliush finding Minamino on the edge of the box. The Japanese international looking to curl it into the top corner, but Donnarumma was able to tip it over. Adi Hutter's men were still on the front foot as Golovin played Akliush through one on one. But Donnarumma was able to swipe it away. Golovin with the follow up, but it was blocked by Vitinha. Relentless pressure from the hosts in the first half. And the Monaco attacks kept on coming as Fofana found Akliush. Midfielder unable to hold on to the ball, but Ben Yedder was able to recover. Beat Beraldo in the box and try his luck. But it was another Donnarumma save. Stretching out a leg to keep the Frenchman out. The host had one last chance on the stroke of half-time as Mina Mina was forced out wide. Played it back to Watara who beat Hakimi. Found Akliush in the middle but it was another stop for Donnarumma. The Italian very much the standout player of the half as his team struggled to contain the waves of Monaco attacks. Luis Enrique with a big call at half-time as the Spaniard brought off Kylian Mbappe. Randall Colomani coming on in his place. And there was another substitute in Bradley Barkala who was looking to push PSG forward. The winger weaving his way through before trying his luck, but Majewski was able to gather it safely. Second half was turning in PSG's favour as Vitinha found Barcola in the box. The Frenchman tried to beat the keeper from an angle, but Majewski could parry it away. Barcola looking to make the difference in Mbappe's absence. And the PSG attacks kept on coming as Nuno Mendes looked to make things happen on his return from injury. Playing it out wide to Barcola, who sent Vitinha through, but it was another great stop from Majewski. And there was no way through for either side in the end. Both goalkeepers turning in standout performance in the clash between first and third. PSG were unable to break down a solid Monaco side with or without their top scorer. As the league leaders stuttered to a second consecutive league draw on the eve of their trip to the Basque Country in midweek.